Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business, just standing at the foot of a Nike ballistic missile. Uh, it's very exciting, but what I'm actually here to tell you today is that we're going to jump into QuickBooks Point of Sale and I'm going to show you an awesome workaround, a little hack on how you can print out of any type of label printer. Um, there's a couple extra steps involved, but it might be worth it if all you have is some off-brand non-zebra label printer. Before we do that, don't forget to click the link below in the description to join our Facebook QuickBooks Point of Sale group, where we can answer questions about things you want to know about or errors or what have you. The community will come to your rescue. And if you're on YouTube right now, don't forget to hit subscribe below so you can get all of our latest videos that we come out with practically daily. All right, let's get to it. Here we are in point of sale and the printer that I'm gonna use for this workaround is going to be the Dymo Label Writer 450. Uh, but really you can use this workaround with any label printer that you can install in Windows and see as a normal Windows printer. Uh, you can also see here that I have kind of these rectangular um, barcode labels in my Dymo, so that's that. Um, before we get going, we need to grab something here. I'm going to have you bring up a browser and go to ninenight.com. I'm not affiliated with Ninite, but this is a great website where like if you're installing a new computer and you want to install a whole bunch of programs all at once, you just put check marks next to each program you want and you can download it and install it all at the same time. Big time saver. Um, but in particular, for our workaround, I want you to grab Foxit Reader. Foxit Reader is a PDF reader and writer. It's a little less cumbersome than Adobe. I think you can also do this workaround with Adobe, but I just like Foxit Reader because it's more lightweight. So grab that, install it, and get back to point of sale. And then you're gonna go on the file menu. I want you to go to tools and print designer. We're gonna switch to inventory tags. Now at the very, very top, I want you to choose Avery 5160 and then make a copy. We're just going to set this up kind of specially so that we have the best success with our workaround. You can do anything you want to this tag. I don't really care. What I'm really concerned about is double clicking on the barcode and switching it to 20F5IL which is the more compact format. It's better and easier to scan this type of barcode and that's gonna help us in our workaround. So hit okay. You might wanna stretch it out a little further to make the barcode a little bigger, a little easier to read. Now we are going to hit close. It's gonna ask us if we wanna make it the default, which is fine, sure. And I'm gonna call this Workaround tag. Okay, hit and close. Now on your item list, you can choose a couple of things that you wanna print tags for, whatever they are. And this is how we would do the workaround. We're gonna hit print tag. Now since you have Foxit installed, on the printer dropdown, you're gonna have a new entry called Foxit Reader PDF Printer. Choose that. That's automatically going to only allow you to choose Avery templates. So in your template, you can choose the new one that we just created. And then you can just do one copy of each tag is fine because we're actually going to choose later how many copies of each tag you really want. You'll see what I mean. So go ahead and hit print. Uh, you can choose column one, row one. That's fine every single time. It's going to ask you where you want to save it and I'm just gonna call this tags or something so it's gonna make a PDF printout of those labels and I'm sorry this is a couple extra steps but if you're stuck with the printer you got then this is gonna work out for you now in Foxit Reader which is what we're in right now up here at the top left you're going to choose snapshot and with snapshot 
you're going to draw a box around the label that you want to print right now. Once you draw that box, you're going to right click and go to print. And then you're going to choose your actual label printer, which in this case is my Dymo. Now with the Dymo, and, and this is very important with whatever label printer you have, you're going to want to go into properties and make sure that this print size is correct. This does look correct already, 2.3 by 1.3, but on your printer or on your Dymo, you're going to hit properties and you're going to go to advanced. Um, well, actually, let me tell you, on the Dymo you hit advanced and you choose which type of label you have. I have already chosen the correct label in the past, so it's already set. Some label printers might have some properties here that are like allow you to type in the number of inches of your label. I know one of my other zebra printers is like that, uh, my large shipping zebra printer. But somehow in the printer dialog here, you're going to need to tell your printer what size you are printing on. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. <clears throat> so I already have it selected here. If you have a different printer, maybe you type in, you know, the, the in number of inches of the label or something like that within the printer settings. What that's going to do is set the document size right here and then uh, the print handling for scaling down here is automatically going to make uh, the highlighted portion here the correct size. I'm sorry, that was a lot to take in, but maybe listen to it twice so you can understand what I'm saying. You just need to make sure that your label printer knows what size the labels are so that Foxit can appropriately size the thing that we highlighted. So here, I'm going to tell it I want four of these labels, right? And that's going to pop out of my Dymo. And here we have it. I probably could have given myself a little better space on the side there. But you can see here, I now printed out labels from my Dymo from QuickBooks Point of Sale. And you can do that with each one. I could do it with this one, right click, print. Once you set the printer settings once, you should be okay. And so I'll do three of these. There, I gave it better spacing on the side there. So um, now you can see that it looks very good. And if we jump back to QuickBooks point of sale and we wanna make a sale, then I can go ahead and scan my barcode tag that came out of the Dymo and it works just fine. So there you have it. That is our workaround on how to use other label printers with QuickBooks Point of Sale. It is not as streamlined, but it works. So my name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming along on this video. I hope you have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.